So here's what we're working on today. This is a shutoff valve to the garden hose at the front of the house, and this is up inside the wall. And the homeowner never knew it was here until I came in and gutted these walls. So we're gonna relocate the shutoff valve farther down where they can access it from the closet under their stairs. Now to splice into this copper without actually soldering, we're gonna use a tool called ProPress, and it's absolutely awesome. So let's go ahead and cover that. So here we have a ProPress tool from iCrimp. Now this kit comes with the fittings to do half inch, three quarter, and one inch copper. That's everything the typical homeowner needs. Now you'll notice the Pro Press fittings have a rubber O-ring in there. So it's vital that you clean up your copper before you put these on or you could get a leak. I have not had a single leak while using these Pro Press fittings. I absolutely love them. So again, it's vital that you have clean surface before you put the Pro Press fittings on or you could get some debris between that rubber O-ring and the copper and then you could possibly have a leak. So clean this up real good. Here I already have it cleaned up with my brush and this brush also has a built-in deburr. And you'll see the deburr tool deburrs that inside lip as it's cleaning the outside of the copper. So really nice tool to have for this. Now this other connection is right up against the wall. I can barely get a finger through here. So I'm not gonna be able to fit the Pro Press tool in here. So we're gonna use a shark bite to splice into this. And then the rest of this is gonna be ran using expansion pecs. But so to clean this up, just grab some 100, 120 grit sandpaper and clean that up around there. It's the same thing with the shark bites or anything else for that matter. You always want a clean surface so you don't have any leaks. So we've cleaned up the inside and the outside of our copper. So I'm going to slip the Pro Press fitting on there. And you'll feel it bottom out so you'll know it's on all the way. Okay, now I already have my half inch pieces in here, but if I needed to change them out, all you do is open up the arms, press this button, that opens up the head, and then there's two screws that hold the pieces in there. I would just switch them out with the other sizes and then close that back up. Now if I needed to, I could extend these arms down by just giving them a twist and they extend out for more leverage. But in the tight area we're working and only being half inch, I'm not gonna need to do that, so I'm gonna keep them fully in. Okay, so you're gonna fully open the tool and you'll see the head expands so we can fit it over the fitting. And what we're doing is the center of the fitting has a recess area that's gonna go right around this ring. So once we have it right on there, we're just gonna clamp right down around it and just simply compress the handles all the way together and it'll lock as it finishes the crimp and you'll have a nice solid lock of the handles. Now that's fully crimped. Simply open them back up, slide it back off. And that's all there is to that. Again, excellent way to splice into your copper and then work with PEX, uh, PVC, whatever kind of adapter you have from the Pro Press. And again, I've had zero leaks with these fittings. I highly recommend it and I love it. Now these are only like $150, $200 as of the time of this video. The battery operated tool is like $4,000. I'm never plumbing a whole house in copper. I'm simply splicing from the copper into a new material. So just to do a couple fittings, this tool is excellent to have. Now the Pro Press fittings have been shown to actually be stronger and more durable than an actual soldered connection. So don't think this is like a cheap way out. This is a great uh, way of getting into your copper without actually soldering. I've watched commercial outfits do entire buildings in Pro Press using three and four inch size copper fittings for their commercial applications. So again, by no means a cheating way, simply a better way. Really hope this video helped you out. There's gonna be links in the description down below on where you can buy these things. Um, and I really appreciate your support in the channel. Thanks for watching.